on Earth came from meteorite-like fragments of planets that crashed into the Earth. Now, 300 years later, after the sun went supernova, we traveled across the galaxy searching for a new home. We found the perfect planet. It has water, oxygen, and a sun like ours. The only problem? We accidentally cohabitated with the enemies of one of the most dangerous alien races in the galaxy, the Soltrons. The Soltrons wage war against us, thinking that we were their enemies too. The war claimed my mother. When I was seven, my father told me that he saw an alien kill my mother and that he needed to leave the military base to go avenge her, but I knew the truth. It's been ten years, and he's still not back. My father used to tell me that after my mother died, seeing me grow up helped guide him through his own life like the stars used to guide the first people of Earth. That's why he named me Stella. Growing up without a mom didn't bother my little sister because she had our cousin and she loved her to death. But growing up without a father left a great void in her life. That's why she's forced me to follow her while we track him down to see if he really left us for the reason he said he did. My cousin and everyone on the military base have raised us in my father's absence. She told me that it took after my father a lot and that I'm made out of the same strength and courage that he is. I ask myself, if he's so strong and brave, why didn't he tell us the real reason why he disappeared? Why didn't he come back to take care of us and tell us that he never found our mother's killer? Is it not the brave thing to come back and tell us that he failed? Is that not what really strong people do? No, I'm nothing like him, and on this journey, it's time that me and my sister Tara see what we're really made of.